What's up everyone, my name is Alpha and today we're back with another Pokemon challenge video. Today we're on Radical Red and today's challenge will be can I be Pokemon Radical Red 4.1 using only randomized Pokemon. So the entire game is randomized, all the species are randomized and it's going to be a lot of fun. The only trick of this is that I can only catch one Pokemon per route. So the very first Pokemon I see I have to catch and it's going to be, uh, well it's going to be in the box or it's going to be on my team. It's a very easy premise to get behind. Uh, also included this is going to be each of my Pokemon will be nicknamed after you guys in the comments. So thank you so much for leaving me a comment. In my previous challenge video, if you guys want to be nicknamed after your future Pokemon, just drop in the comments and hopefully I'll pick yours. And while it's down there, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. It means a lot to me. Anyways, let's get into the challenge video itself. So to be an off, we... Can't, we don't really count our starter Pokemon as uh, a Pokemon we can use. So Tentacruel is not going to be a Pokemon available to us. But once we actually go out in the wild and have Pokeballs, our first Pokemon is going to be a Vespa Queen. That's uh, that's going to be interesting. I'm not going to show every single encounter, uh, but it's gonna. I'm just going to show the ones that are most likely going to be more useful than the rest of them. So I'll also catch uh, Crobat in route in route three, a Chansey route 22, and on top of that we got ourselves a Chinchou, which is going to be really good. So from there, we can head into the forest and get us as a Dodrio, a Cantonian Dodrio, which is going to be really nice. As, as you know, it's really good, but we checked the Pokemon afterwards, and we could have got a Mewtwo. And I'm like, oh my god, I missed out on a Mewtwo, Salamence, or a Magikarp. Dodrio is still really cool, uh, but come on, we got some really good Pokemon there. Anyways, we move forwards, and then from there, we face off against this trainer to get ourselves the infinite repel mod and also face up against this trainer to get ourselves into pewter city now once we're in pewter city there's a lot of things for us to catch we get ourselves in alolan grimer inside of pewter city and in, in digless cave we get ourselves a sil valley which is going to be really good too we got really good pokemon we move on and face off against faulkner beat down faulkner on our first attempt and get uh the first gym unlocked so from there we're gonna move on to the first gym in the game we're gonna face up against brock Brock's gonna start the battle off against us using a Hippotas. We use my Acrobat to start, which I don't know was the greatest play. I force him out into the leap, so I go out into my Sil Valley. Sil Valley has Ice Fang for us, so we're able to chip down a leap and then Frostbite it, eventually knock him out. Even though his recovering stall me, we eventually knock him out, and also we get a chance to knock out the Cacne as well with a bite into Ice Fang. From there, his next opponent's gonna be a Vroom, he's gonna knock me out with a Poison, but I chip him down to about low HP, so I go out into my Dodrio. Used the wrong move, but it's alright. It's alright. As I dodge Toxic and then Flamethrower to knock him out. And then from there, the Lunatone comes out. I'm gonna switch out into my Grimer. Grimer's gonna go down, but I do get a bite off against him and then go out to Madojo. Knock out a Lunatone, knock out a Hippotoss, and also chip down to Arkin. This is a masterclass on how to choke away a game. I sacrificed, I didn't sacrifice my Dojo, I sacrificed my Chin Chow for some reason. Go out to my Crobat. Luckily enough, Crobat's able to just bite into the Arc and flinch it. Or it could have been really bad for us, but we end up being down Brock and we can move on. So from there, uh, a lot of Pokemon that I don't really like, they can put a dot on as a nickname. So I, I'm not really expecting to use them. So Cop Grease has a dot on his name, so I'm not really expecting it to use. But if I do use it, you can see that I was wrong about it. So that's a way to uh, keep track of the Pokemon I was wrong about. Uh, but from there, we can move on into a Mount Moon and face off against the scientists in here. Pretty easy fight as we head into Cerulean City. And uh, our first encounter in Cerulean City could be in the water or from this Egg Merchant. And this Egg Merchant actually gives us a Cantonian form Delmice, which is going to be really cool for us as it's going to be really helpful as we face off against the next gym leader in the game. We're face off against Misty next. Misty's the water type gym leader in the game. She's going to start the battle off against us using a Polytoad. He's my Delmice. Delmice has Giga Drain. Two shot it into him. Gets toxic, unfortunately, but from there, she switched that to her Tox Crow. I go out to my Crobat. Crobat is able to go for a wing attack and then force him out into the Clock Sire, which I go out to my Dojo. High horse power to one shot it. Force out the Man Time, which I'm like, I gotta sack something. I said, oh, I didn't sack something. I went out to my Lantern. Lantern has the Bold Absorb, unfortunately, so I'm able to go for Thunder Wave and then paralyze it. Force him out to the Ludicolo. Unfortunately, I didn't get that Thunder Wave off against him. Uh, he's gonna knock me out as I go out to my Crobat. Crobat knocks him down to low HP, but eventually goes down. And I already used Cofagricus. <laughs> oh, I was wrong about him. I just used him for that one instance. I'm not too sure if that counts, but I'm gonna swim one time and then go out to my Delmice. Delmice able to knock out the Man Time for us. And then the Toxicro comes out. I go out into my Dodrio. Dodrio is able to knock out the Toxicro for us as the Starmie knocks me out. But I still do have my Delmice, which would knock out the Starmie and Ludicolo for us as we beat down Misty. And still badly didn't even get touched, so <laughs> that was kind of funny. Uh, from there, we head into the Nugget Bridge. We got some, you know, a cloth, but that's all right. As the next encounter, round 25, will be a Rowlet. So that means we could actually evolve it into our choice, which we get ourselves a Hisuian Decidueye. 
which is kind of funny because in the route previously to Vermilion City, uh, we get ourselves uh, the Sidui anyways, as you can see from the box. That's kind of uh, that's kind of funny. Uh, from there, we're going to make our way into the SSN and clear through the SSN and Brennan in here. From there, we're going to face out against Lieutenant Surge, the third gym leader in the game. We're going to set the battle off against him using my Seal Valley, which is going to Fire Fang twice into his Rotom Frost. Ends up knocking him out, which is nice. And then from there, it's going to knock out my Lantern for me, but I go out into my Crobat, which I'll outspeed him and knock him out, which is really nice. His next opponent's going to be Electrode. I act <laughs> I've outplayed this like crazy. I went out on my Dojo, dodged the Electro move, go out to my Delmice to dodge the Grass move. And then go out to my Steel Valley just to take the explosion so we got a free knockout. And then from there I got into my Decidua against uh, the Raichu. Two Sucker Punch would knock him out as his next bone will be a Himonli. He knocks me out, go out to my Crobat, two shot him with uh, Dual Wing Beat. And his final bone will be an Ampharos. I chip him down a little bit as I go out to my Dojo. High horsepower to knock him out and we easily beat down Lieutenant Surge. From there, we're going to make our way into Route 10, right before of the Rock Tunnel. There's nothing great at counters until, at this moment, Exit Drill. So we're going to take that. Exit Drill is a really good Pokemon. As we make our way into uh, the Rock Tunnel, no good encounters in here. As we also beat down the final trainer in here and make our way into Lambda Town. And then make our way through this trainer to get into uh, Celadon City. There's, again, not a lot of great encounters, except when we went into Route 16, where we got our first legendary Pokemon. We got ourselves a Magearna, which is going to be really good. Magearna doesn't have its uh, Soul Heart ability or shift gear so it's gonna be a little harder to use but McGearn is gonna be fun as from there we're gonna move on into Celadon City's gym as we face off against Erica we're gonna start the battle off against Erica's Ogre Pond using my Decidueye. Decidueye is able to go for a triple arrow into Suck Punch to knock out the Ogre Pond. From there the Slowbro comes out I go out to my Extra Joe which didn't work out too well for us. I mean it still has Flamethrower so I go out to my Alolan Muck which would chip him down a little bit but then the Kartana comes out it's gonna eventually knock me out but I go out to my Crobat and surprisingly it outspeeds the Kartana to knock him out in two shots. Her next one was going to be a Toxic Street. I got back out into my extra Joe, blocked the Electric move, and then knock him out in one shot. Forcing out the Mega Sceptile, I go out into my Crobat to sack it. But then from there, I could go out into my Silver Valley, which would take a Dragon Brush and knock him out with an Ice Fang, which is really nice. Uh, from there, her next Pokemon will be a Haluchas. Knocks out my Silver Valley. I'm like, oh, this looks pretty bad for me. Luck always on my side. It goes for Sword Stance. I go for a Flare Blitz and then burn it. And then from there, it goes for Sword Stance once again. I knock him out and then knock out the Slowbro. As we beat down Erica, get ourselves the fourth gym badge in the game and move on. We're going to face off against Giovanni next. Giovanni's a pretty easy fight, as you can see. Once we beat so once we beat Giovanni, we have access into Lavender Tower, which we go through, get ourselves the Poke Flute, and then go back into Silphco and face off against a rival in here. And then against the worst fight in the game, I hate this fight so much. I spent at least 20 minutes against this fight for some reason, but this fight with Archer and Ariana, as Brendan's my teammate, it's the worst fight. But once... Once we get through that, now I can show you that part. Uh, we're going to face off against Giovanni once again. And Giovanni's a pretty easy fight once again. Our, our team's actually pretty good. Like, the Pokemon we got, pretty decent. We didn't get anyone super broken, like an Urshifu or something. But we got a lot of good Pokemon. Uh, from there, we're going to make our way into Chuck's Dojo and then face off against his Pokemon. Get ourselves the Focus Ash and also get a Sock in the bag, which has Sturdy. You guys know how much I like Sturdy Pokemon. Uh, from there, we're going to move on and face off against Sabrina next. Sabrina is the fifth gym leader in the game with infinite Misty Terrain and infinite Trick Room. It's going to be a little annoying, so we start the battle off against her using my Delmise with negative speed and also my off Scald against the camera to knock him out and then force the Tapu Fini to go for a Misty Explosion and then protect myself as my off Goon stays alive. From there, I go out to my Dojo against the Bagheera and Iron Hands. Uh, it works out pretty well for us as I'm able to Baby Doll Eyes into the Iron Hands and then Flare Blitz and knock out the Bagheera. As from there, I go out to my Sock next. Socks can go for a counter into the Calyrex as my uh, as my Dojo will go down, but her Calyrex as well. As from there, I go out to my Decidueye against the Jellicent. I go for two suck Punches against the Jellicent to knock him out. And then go out to my final Pokemon, Gothitelle, to knock out the Iron Hands for us. And it's a pretty easy fight, so... Yeah, we end up beating down Sabrina and we can move on into the cycling road where we gotta mention, I don't know when I got to Kadabra. I think we got a Kadabra near Vermilion City, like the route east of Vermilion City. So that's really nice for us. We got ourselves a Kadabra and we evolve it into Alakazam. So we have a Mega Alakazam. Uh, from there, we're gonna move on. Once we head into Fuchsia City, we're gonna face off against Brendan. Brendan's a pretty easy fight out here. And uh, yeah, once we beat Brendan, we have access into the Safari Zone. And our first encounter in the Safari Zone is gonna be a Riolu. And I'm like, that's a broken Pokemon. Yes, I'm going to take that. I catch Riolu, add it to my team, uh, evolve it immediately. We can't get the Mega Lucario Mega Stone just yet, but we're very close to that. So we're going to replace Alex Zen's uh, Mega Stone eventually. As from there, we're forced to face off against the first three gym leaders in the game before Koga opens his gym doors. We're going to face off against Brock. He's a pretty difficult fight. I don't like him. Uh, from there, we're going to face off against Misty. Misty's a lot easier, as you can see. And from there, we're going to face off against Lieutenant Surge. Surprisingly... 
he's a lot easier than I expected. So we beat down all three of them, and now we have access into the sixth gym in the game. We're going to face off against Koga. We're going to start the battle off against Koga using my Alolan Golem, which you can see I have a dot on it because I thought it was going to be useless. But surprisingly, it came in handy. Uh, we're going to make sure Tapu Lele missed the Focus Blast, so we're going to be able to knock him out with a Heavy Slam. From there, we force out a Toxic Street, where we're going to go for an Explosion and survive any of his moves. From the explosion knocks him out we knock out two of his pokemon as from there i'm gonna go out to my golf to expecting the shiyu and then go out to my blissey that i caught earlier uh from there i can go for a sing against the shiyu and then go for mud bombs and a soft foil eventually we knock out the shiyu by just completely walling it because my chancy is completely broken from there we knock out the shiyu his next pokemon is going to be a uh, crocodile i don't want to give him moxie boost so i go out to my decidui to knock him out with high jump kick and then needle king comes out it's going to knock me out i go out to my golf toe survive any move Psychic to knock him out, and his final Pokemon will be a Hoopa Unbound. Sacrifice my Golf Tail, go out to my Vika Volt, and then Bug Buzz to knock him out. So we've easily beat down Koga. As from there, we have access into the next part of the game. We have, firstly, we have access into the Lucario Megastone, which Alakazam is still going to be on my team, but uh, it's not going to be the Mega. From there, we beat down Price and get us as a Choice Scarf, and also teach yourself High Jump Kick on my Lucario. Very important moves as we go on. From there, we're going to make our way into Cinnabar Island and face off against May. May is a pretty easy fight as we head into the next gym in the game. We're going to face off against Koga's gym. And you can see I, I'm not having a fun time with the gym trainers. But we have a lot of Pokemon. We also have Articuno now, which I didn't mention. But we got ourselves an Articuno. This is the box that we're working with at the moment. A lot of useless Pokemon, but there's some good ones. There's some good gems in there. Uh, from there, we're going to move on and face off against Blaine next. Blaine is going to be the next gym leader in the game. We're going to start the battle off against the Sandy Shock using my Articuno. And surprisingly, this was a bad idea. So eventually, I'm able to go for uh, a Blizzard into an Ice Shirt to knock him out. And then his Ho-Oh comes up next. I go for an Ice Shirt. He's going to knock me out. Go out into... I don't know why he uses Z move. Go out to my extra Rock Slide. And then, unfortunately, he's going to knock me out once he revives himself in Phoenix form. Go out to my Decidua to Rock Slide and knock him out, which is nice. His next poem is going to be a Venusaur as I go out into my Muck. Muck's able to go for a Gunk Shot and then chip him down with a Suck Punch. Still doesn't knock him out as he's not... As the Venusaur is going to knock me out in one shot. Go out to my Decidua to Suck Punch and knock him out. As the next one will be a Great Tusk. I stayed in. The Decidua gets knocked down by the Great Tusk. Go out to my Alakazam to Psychic and knock out the Great Tusk. Uh, walk and Wake as well. Go for Dazzling Gleam and then two Dazzling Gleams as I survive a Drake Brush would knock out the Walk and Wake. And chip down the Charizard just a little bit. As from there, my final poem will be a Sock. I go out to my Sock. Just close combat. Knocks out uh, the Charizard as we end up being down Blaine. Getting ourselves the 7th gym batch in the game, having access into Surin Cave, and the Surin Cave encounter, I don't really remember it, I think it was that bad. I think it was like something useless. I think it was a Poliwhirl or something, but I didn't use it. As from there, we're going to move on and face off against Archer next. Archer is a pretty easy fight. We have uh, Mega Alakazam, as, even though I said I wouldn't use it. It's pretty, still pretty good. Uh, from there, I go out to my extra knock him out, and then from there, we face off against Ariana. Ariana is a pretty easy fight. Extra once again clutched up for us as we go out to my Decidueye to knock him out. And from there, we move on and face off against Giovanni. This fight against Giovanni was a lot easier than expected. As from there, uh, we beat down Giovanni. And we have access into the final gym in the game. We're actually looking around to get my extra Joe Iron Head, as you can see. I'm like, where's Iron Head? Let me, <laughs> can someone tell me where the Iron Head move tutor is? Because I really need it. But either way, from there, we're going to move on and face off against the final gym leader in the game. We're going to face off against Claire. We're going to start the battle off against her using my Mega Lucario. We're going to start the battle off against him. We're going to go for Meter Mash to start off and then... Well, we get Sticky Web, but we only get one layer and not Stealth Rocks or anything. Okay, I lied. I get to, I still get Stealth Rocks off. But then he switched down into his Eternatus, and then I get an Attack Boost. Bullet Punch would knock out Eternatus, as his next poem will be a Roar Moon. Uh, I do do a lot of damage with Bullet Punch. As you can see, if I got a second attack to that, oh, that would have been crazy. But I leave him with about one-fifth HP. I got to my Muck. Suck Punch to knock him out. Her next poem was going to be a Magirna. I go out to my Extra. Uh, I can take any move. She doesn't even use a move. I go for an Earthquake to knock him out. She has Aura Sphere. Why didn't she use Aura Sphere? I don't know. Anyways, from there, she's going to go out to Ultra Necrozma. Knocks on my Extra as I go out into my Muck. Muck's able to go for a Suck Punch. And then Decidueye goes for a Suck Punch. Knocks out the Ultra Necrozma. As her next Pokemon will be the Archelodon. Which I uh, go for a High Jump Kick. Survive a Steel Beam. And then Suck Punch to knock him out. His Sue and Decidueye is crazy broken. From there, I'm able to knock out a Shuckle. And we beat down Claire and... Jeez, this thing is broken. From there, we're going to face off against our rival. Lucky enough, it's not the fire team with the Magma Storm. We're able to beat him down pretty easily. From there, we're going to beat down Brendan. He's a really difficult fight for some reason. It took me a lot of attempts. Uh, but eventually, we end up beating down Brendan, and we can move on into Victory Road. And our final encounter in the entire game, 
I didn't check the other side of Diffusion City. I didn't check those encounters because I was lazy and my team was pretty good anyways. But my final encounter will be an Alone Sand Shroom, which I won't use. Even though it's going to be pretty good as we make our way into the Leap 4. Uh, Lorelai is using her Ice Team. Could have used my Sand Shroom here, but I decided to use everything else. So my team is going to consist of a pretty, pretty strong team. A Decidui, Alakazam, Mega Lucario, you know, I can switch in between. Most of the time, Alakazam will have the Focus Ash. I have a Lola Muck, a Magnezone, surprisingly, and also my Magirna. So it's going to be a solid team, as from there, we're going to face off against Lorelai. Lorelai is going to be the first Elite Four member we're going to face off against. We're going to start the battle off against her using my Magirna, and also Alakazam against her Glaceon and Landorus. I go for a Choice Scarf Ice Beam with my Magirna to knock out the Landorus. Focus Blast with my Choice Scarf. Alakazam to knock out the Glaceon, left him with 1 HP, but that's fine, I'm gonna sack my Alakazam as the Shein Pal comes out, we're gonna knock out uh, the Glaceon with my Magirna, but the Shein Pal is pretty scary as I'm left with 1 HP, I go out to my Decidueye next, Decidueye is able to go for a high gym kick against the Shein Pal, make him live with 1 HP and then survive a Moon Blast, which is unfortunate, uh, I go out to my Muck next, we're able to knock out the Shein Pal and then Gunk Shot into the Tapu Fini, from there her next opponent will be a Kieran White, we knock out the Tapu Fini in the following turn, and then we barely chipped down the Kieran White, as from there I go out to my Mega Lucario to knock out the Kieran White for us, surviving a Blizzard, which is nice. And then uh, from there, her final opponent will be a Mega Bomb Snow. I go out into my Magazine, which is able to go for a Flash Cannon and knock out the Bomb Snow for us, as we end up beating down Lorelei. Pretty easy fight. Uh, from there, we're going to move on and face off against Bruno next. Bruno's going to be the fighting type Elite Four member in the game. We're going to start the battle off against him using my Alakazam for some reason. Uh, we're going for two Focus Blasts, Survival Wicked Blow, and then Focus Blast once again. The hardest combination ever, two Focus Blasts in a row. Uh, from there, the Zacian comes out, and then I'm just going to sack my Alakazam. Go out to my Magazone. Magazone is going to go for two Flash Cannons, and with Sturdy, survive, uh, survive a close combat. Chip him down to low HP, and go out to my Lucario to bowl Punch and knock out the Zacian for us. From there, his next poem is going to be a Halucha, which is kind of scary, so I go out to my Magirna. From there, we're going to force him out into his Dust Main uh, Necrozma. I go out to my Lucario. High Jump Kick him. Didn't work out, so he's going to knock me out. I go out to my Decidueye. Suck Punch to knock him out at least, and then from there, he's going to switch out to his Iron Balian. Uh, I go out into my Muck against this, and then, you know, goes for Calm Mind. I survive a Moon Blast. Gunk Shot to knock him out. As the next poem will be a Metacham. I go for a Suck Punch. Does a lot of damage to him. Uh, and then from there, I go out into my Decidueye, which will actually outspeed, and then Leaf Blade will knock him out. The final opponent will be the Halucha in the back. I sacrifice my Decidueye, go out to my Magirna in the back, Flurry Cannon to knock him out, as we end up beating down Halucha, as we beat down Bruno. I can leave one member down, as from there, we're going to actually do some crazy tech. I was trying to get Triple Arrows uh, flinch, didn't work out, so I decided to go for the second best option, Bullet Seed tech. I uh, face off against Agatha, I did not rocks with the Crooked I go for my Decidueye's Bullet Seed. Now it took, for some reason, it took like forever to get more than two hits. I'm like, this is true. are you sure you hit more than two times? But anyway, eventually once we get one crit, we only <laughs> we only needed one crit or hit it five times. That's all we needed. Anyways, finally we got one where we crit him and then knock him out with three hits. From there, her next one will be a Mewtwo, a Black Mewtwo X. Go out to my... Well, Alakazam didn't do anything, so we sacrifice Alakazam. Go out to my Magirna to Flurry Cannon and knock out the Mewtwo. Her next one will be a Calyrex. I go out to uh, my Muck, two shot him with knockoff. And then from there, sacrifice him against the Yveltal. Go out into my <laughs> Lucario, which I forgot to Mega Evolve. And then it stayed in because it thought I was stupid. So, lucky enough, it worked out. As I'm able to Mega Evolve, outspeed him this time, and then knock him out. From there, next opponent will be a Victini. It's going to go for Celebrate. I just want to keep it at the same speed stat. So, I go for a Rock Tomb and then just chip him down. I can outspeed him once again with Rock Tomb, so we'll take that. As I go out to my Decidueye to knock him out. High Jump Kick got very lucky. I'm not too sure if that a crit matter. But her next opponent will be a Fluttermane. So I sacrifice my Decidueye, go out to my uh, Magnezone. Magnezone is able to Mirror Coat and knock out the Fluttermane. As we end up being down Agatha. And now, here comes the funnest battle. So, we got a grueling fight against Lance. And unfortunately, we lost against Lance here. But uh, the very next restart, guess what happened? So, we restart against Lance. We can start the battle off against him using my Mega Lucario. We go for a Meter Mash uh, to get the attack boost because he can set up Hazards anyways. He sets up Stealth Rocks and two Laser Toxic Spikes. But I got attack boost with one of my Meter Mashes. From there, he's going to switch up to his Dragonite. Get another attack boost with another Meter Mash. So, from there, I could Bullet Punch at this range and knock out his Dragonite. His next one will be an Arceus, which I should have gone for a Meter Mash once again, but. He goes for Flamethrower, I go for Bullet Punch, knock him down to red HP at least. He actually did about the same damage with the Flamethrower, so Bullet Punch to knock him out, and then from there, his next move will be a Melt Metal. I'm like, why is he not sending out his Rayquaza? I go for a High Jump Kick to knock him out, and then from there, he still doesn't want to send him out. He doesn't want to send out his Mega Ray, 
he goes out to his prime with the yoga high jump kick one shots him and then finally he goes out to his mega ray he outspeeds me obviously and knocks me i'm like could have done that the whole time i go out to my magira to clear cannon and knock him out as we end up being down lance in like record time so yeah that was a crazy fight from there we can move on and face off against blue next blue's gonna be a pretty easy fight as well we start the battle off against him using my mega lucario high jump kicking left at one hp and then he misses an origin post i'm like that's that's what you get you survive at one hp you deserve that a little bit from there, we knock out the Primal Cryogre. He goes out to his G-Max Eternatus. I go out to my Magnuson. Magnuson is able to get a Thunderwave off against him. Maybe not the right play, but I think it's, I think it's worth it. Uh, from there, I sacrifice my Magnuson. Go out to my Alakazam. Psychic twice to knock him out. So, uh, yeah, that that's kind of worth it. Because he didn't actually touch me at all. Uh, I go out to my Decidua against the Necrozma. Ultra Necrozma is pretty easy to get. Suck Punch into him. He knocks me out. But then go out to my Muck. Suck Punch to knock him out. From there, we're going to force out the Mega Swamper, which is going to knock out my uh, Muck. I go out into my Alakazam next to Energy Ball and knock out the Swamper. His next one will be a Walking Wig, which I sacrifice my Alakazam. Go out to my Magira to Flurry Cannon and knock him out. And then finally, his last one will be an RCS Extreme Killer. Go out into, uh, I was thinking about just staying in and just Flurry Cannon, but I go out to my uh, Lucario, hoping to outspeed. I don't outspeed him, but I live a Shadow Claw, and then Hydrum Kick would knock him out from this range. And that thing's really broken. You should really nerf Mega Lucario, by the way. Adaptability Mega Lucario with Meter Mesh? It could probably destroy the entire game, I'm not going to lie. But either way, we make it to the end of the game. Uh, that was pretty fun to do. It was a fun little randomizer. If you guys want me to do more randomizers and do like monotypes on top of that, it'll be kind of fun. But anyways, that'll be it for me today. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you guys can, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. It means a lot to me. Anyways, my name is Ben Alpha, and I hope you guys all had a great day. I'm out. Peace.